Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. Thanks for joining me. This is part two for Paper Pumpkin on July. And I'm just going to focus on alternates because um, a lot of you craft and you already have ideas in your head. You just need to kind of guide and direct them. And these little bags, I honestly haven't done a whole lot with alternates on it. So I've just been using um, the bases and the little um, um, lightning bugs. And then I did try cutting one up to figure I could do something with that. But just, you know, to be honest, it hasn't really come together from a bag standpoint. But I wanted to go through and just show some of the alternates that I came up with. And again, part two. And let me just stop and be a real big uh, shout out to all of my new subscribers that have uh, joined. And um, I just appreciate um, the support, your subscribing, and um, just sharing in this journey. So anyhow, this is the, the card base. And I just took a die, the die set and thinking, well, this is a, be a good a good scenery for Christmas. And then I just um, did the uh, Versamark with white um, embossing. So that just kind of gives a little layer, super, super cute. Then here are, let's put this right here. And then here are two different cards, but the same set. So this is the die set from um, by the dock, and um, and then when you buy them as the bundle, you get ten percent off. Did that anyhow? So this actually, if you'll notice, this is the part of the set from last month. Also, the little kind of looks like water. That I did with that and so um, kind of used that as um, just another the background was great with the clouds and the little sunset and the green and then this again I did darken this because the way it looked with this um, uh, gold color did not look like water so I had to make it like water so anyhow those are two and then this one is just one layer. There is nothing to it. I just took that little bright little fireworks, went all the way around it with um, Coastal Cabana and then sponged all the way around with that in the middle. So super, super simple. I mean, there's no layers or anything to that. And then this one took a little bit more work and effort because I just took the um, jar, took off the lid like it had fallen and little little uh, lightning bugs that are like little um, flowers coming out of that. And then offset it so that I had the angle on the edge um, on two sides rather than just right in the middle. So there's that. There's another Christmas one. I just took the um, lanterns and made them into ornaments. So that was another one. Then this one, was um, an idea, I think, it's, I think it's just Jay Larson, but um, she did one that looked like a pottery or a bowl, and it kind of looked like um, like um, succulents with the little back ends of the, the uh, fireflies. So she didn't have, use as many of them as I did. Um, it probably could have used less. And then real faint, you needed something up here, but real faint, I used this light color, it may not be great for grow, but it kind of looked like it. So I did kind of second generation on that, but I love the background with the clouds on this. So anyhow, that's all just short and sweet. Um, the technique, now this is a bow that came from um, a couple years ago, Christmas, this little bow right in there. Um, but I needed some kind of a bow. I could do it by hand, but I needed it really to stay uniform. And um, so that just kind of gives me some, some ideas for Christmas. So anyhow, that is, that is my alternates. I don't know if I have it in me <laughs> to do a part three. Ah! So, um, and then I just, um, again, really short and sweet part two, but, um, Oh, look at here. 
just got my, this is where I thought I got my edge off. All this time I've been moving it around and huh, it didn't stay on. So fancy that. I'm gonna put that right there. Huh, that was really weird. It was on my on my desk the whole time and never, never fell off. So this is where I'm going to do some, some, some finagling, but I wanted to at least bring in some Christmas because this, this skyline, uh, Milky Way, um, Stardust, just seem real perfect with uh, Christmas time coming up. So anyhow, real quick, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you don't have your uh, paper pumpkin or a subscriber um, demonstrator, um, check me out. I wouldn't mind um, embracing you into my team and my family, but um, stay tuned because um, um, we've got coming up in August 3rd is the new catalog. And I'm looking over, yep. Um, there we go. This is the new um, holiday catalog. I can't show you inside yet, but I am after um, this pumpkin, I'm going to start making some samples from some of the, uh, of the things I've got inside this catalog. So that's all I've got. I hope that, um, you are inspired and, um, I do apologize. I couldn't think of anything to really do with these bags, but, um, you know, as much as they have with these backgrounds and then remember if um, you were following me, that these envelopes came with um, that add-on kit. So I pretty much have my envelopes set, almost set, for these to go out. So that's all I've got. I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> and um, again, thanks for so much for for um, staying by. Hope that these have just spurred your um, inspiration. I had a lady who actually commented that um, she didn't feel bad about not getting the kit until we started seeing some of these ideas. And you know what? That's what the inspiration does is it says, oh, I hadn't thought about that. That's a great idea. And then spin off on it. So anyhow, which is very similar to this with, um, again, I, I'm going to not do her name justice, but it's just Jay Larson. But this was the inspiration, but I kind of tweaked it a little bit. And um, the same with this one. But that's where I hope some of these have become maybe a, a inspiration that can bring some wonderful stamping for a year in. Have a great day. Bye for now.